You're being activated. They'd like you to report out to the Alameda County Fairgrounds. The stage is set. Well, who's medical? Everyone has a role. What was your character's name out here? My character. It originally started as Roberta. <laughs> Consider this a dress rehearsal. Because when a real disaster hits, they all need to know their part. Five, six, seven, eight. That's one team. So let's set the scene. It's the Bay Area. These stables are now playing the part of a building. A building that is a, like a daycare center. And we're having an earthquake that happened and it collapsed the building. Again, Dawn is playing the role of Roberta. And I was a mother and I was 57 years old, weighing 110 pounds. Power lines down, Go ahead, standing on. water, four people trapped in vehicle. Mayhem ensues. There's damage and destruction, injuries and death. A lot of us is trapped. Children are trapped in here. And um, the search teams are going to try to rescue us. And we're off. Now it's time for the performance to begin. The curtain's going up. It hurts! Hurry up! This way! This way! My kid is over here crushed with the rebel! Hurry up! Some cert members are playing the patient, but with no pesky director to stifle creativity. It's all up to me, whatever I want to be, yeah. I said, just go out there and do play this role. The rest are being challenged to assess each patient's unique situation and injuries and perform the rescue. Grab a four by four, slap it on there and get it out of here. Okay, one, two, three, here we go. All right. The exercise today at Urban Shield in Alameda County is structured and evaluated. Otherwise, cert volunteer training varies. Don says he puts in about five hours a month. My wife got me into it because my wife's parents were involved in it. So it's a generation that's being passed down. Give yourselves a hand. Well done. Good job. The curtain falls on this performance. Everyone gave it their all and learned a lot. What have you gotten out of it? Uh, well, it's made me realize where my shortcomings in gear are. <laughs> yeah. Cert members are everyday people. They're here because they want to be prepared and help others when the call comes. Hi guys, we are west of Houston in Fort, Fort Bend County. Uh, just an unbelievable day. We just rescued this family of 10. Jenny, how are you guys doing? We're doing okay. We're just so thankful for the, for the volunteers that are out here helping and putting their own lives at risk. We're just so blessed. What are some of the key characteristics of anyone who might well, volunteer? Anybody can volunteer. That's what's nice about it. It's not an age, you know, it does, you don't, you can be 80 years old. You can be 15 years old. It doesn't matter. This off of me! I do not rescue people for a living. It's just something I do as a volunteer to help out. You're, you're going to be fine. Oh.